Some might think that after the 204 bell, the Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School closes down for the evening, locking the doors and shutting out the lights. Nothing could be further from the truth. We offer you a glimpse into DY After Hours. Uh, we practice every day from 2.30 to 4.15. On game days we do a walkthrough and then the other day it's a full practice. And how often do you practice a week? Uh, we practice five days a week um, and then we practice on Saturdays and over the holidays we practiced um, seven days out of the holidays that we were off for the Christmas break. Uh, JV girls basketball practice goes Monday through Friday from 2.30 to 4.30 every day. And how often do you guys have games? Uh, we have games two to three times a week. And do you guys do games and practices during vacations? Yep. We had a bunch of games and practices during Christmas, and then hopefully if we make tournament, we will have practice February vacation. A rapid response to the active shooter is a specific set of tactics that we train police officers. It's kind of unlike anything else that we do. Um, it's a set of tactics used to respond to extreme violence rapidly uh, and with great determination so we can put an end to the violence as quickly as possible. What we're doing tonight here at DY is we're doing a refresher for police officers all over Cape Cod. Uh, they've all been trained in it. This is the refresher so that they are, we can make sure that those tactics are fresh in their mind should they need them. Holster! Yep, um, I come here after school um, with Officer Nick and we do um, real life scenarios with um, police officers from all over the Cape and we do um, like lockdown drills, we do active shooters if anyone was hurt in the school and yeah. So it's kind of, it's like a practice drill for them to um, be able to be in a real life situation. How late does Honors Orchestra go for? Um, Honors Orchestra um, stays Mondays 5.30 to 7. Um, here we practice more challenging pieces than the normal regular orchestra would play. And we play these in our chamber group um, in the concerts, the same, same concerts that the orchestra plays. And how late does winter percussion go for? Um, winter percussion is every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 9. Um, and then Saturdays it starts at 8 and goes till 2 and then when we have competitions we stay through and have competitions around 5, come back to DY around 10 or 11. And what are some of the things that the band does once they're here? Um, well when we're here for practice we go into different rooms depending on what instrument you play and you practice your pieces with the instructors. Um, and on competition days we go to the gym, we go and we march while the pit sets up and plays. What are you preparing for tonight? We are preparing for battle of the... No, it's the talent show, sorry. <laughs> We're preparing for the talent show tonight. Um, me and my brother, Eddie. I'm bro. My name's Peggy. We're doing um, a song by the Dodos. Yes, it's called Fools. That's what we're preparing. Yeah. And how late does this practice or rehearsal go for? Yeah. Six to eight. Yes, I believe it. I believe it ends at eight o'clock. Playing music from eight on the clock. What are you preparing for tonight? Tonight, I am preparing for the talent show, which will be held on January 17, 2014. And how late do these practices go for? Six to eight o'clock, so decent two hours for all the bands to practice and whatnot. Like towards the beginning, it has like posted like what character you play, and it depends on like what reading you're doing and whether like you're a principal or not. And then towards showtime, everyone shows up, and it usually is from like 2:30 to 5 or 5:30, sometimes 6, depending on how well we do and stuff like that. And is it from Monday to Friday? Yeah, it's all day, every day. 
So many of the uh, very things that we do can consist of either uh, you know going over lines, doing blocking, which is kind of where we move in the stage, line being what we say in the stage. Some other stuff that we can tend to do is uh, how we say the words. Because it's one thing to say words and move places, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't get in that character, really kind of feel around in that person's shoes. That's one thing that we really you know uh, like to stress here at Play Rehearsal and uh, with the theater companies to really emphasize that we allow you to step out of oneself. We allow you to not be such a, so much a student at DY, we allow you to be someone else, someone you may not have thought you could have been. You really kind of express yourself as not only an actor, kind of as a teenager, which uh, a, lot, a lot of kids get a chance to do something like that, but something here at DY we offer that after hours.